Cat 4, 1987, in Egypt. That was the year that Clark Frankie, who was on his trip for the first time, had this great idea. He thought, why don't we get organized and do some heartfelt service projects in the communities we're visiting? It was an idea whose time had come. In Luxor, Egypt, on our afternoon of free time, volunteers deboarded the Nile cruise boat and in small groups went out into the streets of the ancient Egyptian city of Luxor. One group went to a small and very poor village on the outskirts of Luxor. We met the leader of the village, their chief, so to speak. He was a butcher by trade, and we came to know him as the butcher. The butcher greeted each of us. Drinks were served, and then the butcher led us through the village to meet the families. It was a heart-to-heart -heart ministry. There were lots and lots of smiles. Clark asked the butcher what their greatest need was. The butcher said they needed money to build a mosque, that they had no mosque, no place of worship. We counted out pounds and gave them what we could. As we bid them farewell, we told them we would return again someday to see their mosque. These villagers had become our dear friends who we would long remember. Pat 4, 1988. This year, the service projects were planned well in advance of the trip. We brought gifts with us, took collections, and bought bolts of fabric and other needed items to give out. The little village was not on the heartfelt agenda this year, but Clark had an urge to check in on the villagers. So while we were in Luxor, Clark and Mohammed, one of our guides, and a small crew took a taxi to the outskirts of town to find the village. The butcher welcomed us and invited us inside to join him for drinks. We were greeted by the founding father of the village, who was revered by the villagers as a holy man. He was 83 years old that year. The butcher told us to follow him outside. He said he had a surprise for us. And he led us through the village and out to the back courtyard. Yes, they had built the mosque. There it was, constructed from bricks that they had made right there in their own little village. They were very proud. And so were we. We gave them more money to complete the project.
Cat 4, This year, everyone participated in the heartfelt service projects, and the first heartfelt stop was the little village with the mosque. The mosque was complete now. We circled up in front of it. The butcher greeted us. And Johnny called in the light quietly through the headsets while the villagers looked on. We were amazed at the beautiful and elaborate work that had gone into the mosque. We felt such a part of it, almost as if it were somehow our own mosque. Clark brought the children into the circle with us. We planted a peace pole in the center of the circle. And then we gave out t-shirts to the children. Then, the greatest of honors, the butcher invited us to come inside the mosque. Johnny gave seed money for them to build a school. We left the village knowing that we do make a difference.
This story begins with a medical doctor from Toronto named Bryn Warren. So, Brian, you sort of took this on yourself. You made all these contacts and you're thinking about, right? And that just shows you what a minister can do if you decide to do it. What Bryn had done amazed all of us. When she first visited the hospital in 1988, she was appalled at the primitive equipment and the lack of sanitation. She resolved to do what she could to make a difference. Bryn located a Toronto organization who gathers new and used medical supplies for third world countries. And then through them, she arranged to have a 40-foot container shipped to Luxor. The shipment leaves Toronto sometime in November of this year with an estimated value of up to $500,000 worth of medical goods. Our tour through the hospital revealed the poor conditions that had stirred Bren into action. We ministered quietly as we moved from room to room. The response was heartfelt on the part of everyone. We decided to use our donations to purchase two air conditioners, a washing machine, and a refrigerator for the hospital, as well as to fund the freight costs for the shipping of Bryn's container. At the end of the hospital tour, we met with the governor of Luxor to work out arrangements for the overseas shipment of supplies. Bryn's efforts for the hospital and the support she received from fellow travelers dramatically demonstrates what a difference we can make. Cat 4, 1990, in Israel. In Israel, we visited the Jaffa Institute for the third year in a row. Jaffa is a school for underprivileged children, both Israeli and Palestinian children. We had brought 1,600 t-shirts with us from the States to donate to the school. We had planned a very special program for the children. led us in a closed eye process while we chanted the word peace and visualized peace colors.
Thank you. 